I've been planning to go to Peak District on Friday to take some photographs, uh, but I've just had a look at the weather and it doesn't look that great. So I uh, just talked to a friend of mine and we've made a decision to go now. Literally, we're going in 15 minutes. That's a great thing about having your camera gear ready at all times. I just have to pack my overnight bag and I'm ready to go. Yeah, it's uh, quite a long drive. Uh, hopefully we'll get there before, before midnight. Depends on uh, how is the traffic today. It's a school holiday, so it shouldn't be that bad. Made it to the hotel. Well, it was a quite an interesting journey. We got rear-ended right off, as I've picked Steve. Uh, Steve, by the way. We are now at this um, hotel called Palace. Uh, yeah, the palace, Royal Palace Hotel. Royal Palace Hotel. It's not royal and it's not a palace. <laughs> it's a nice building. Yeah. It is a very beautiful building from outside, but there is a dead hooker in the bathroom. It stinks in here. It's alright, you'll have a shower and it'll be fine. We got a room for less than 100 quid. We are getting a really good deal on that. I'm not gonna complain. Time to end talking because we have about six hours before we have to head off and we still have to plan where are we going because at the moment nobody knows anything. So, see ya. 10 to 6. We had about 4 hours of sleep last night. Breakfast will be served. <laughs> Coffee Lovac and, um, and a cigar. At least we have a nice cigar to smoke. What's the first stop? Mamtor. Simply because it's got the easiest access at this time of a, of a day. Or I would as well as say this time of a night. Mm, generic freeze-dried coffee. We're not being assholes, but this hotel really sucks. <laughs> I gotta fill you the flower head. Yeah, when the water is on, that doesn't stay up. It's just, just spraying all over. Just not where it's supposed to go. Anyway. We're gonna stop bitching. Good morning. Good it's a bit windy. <laughs> a few things you wouldn't probably do when it's windy. And that's like letting off your tripod. Yeah. Still, this is why we put expensive filters on the front of our lenses. Yeah. So we started that cigar about three hours ago. <laughs> it's really windy out there. Uh, it's windy when you step out of the car, but up there on the hill? Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. But was it worth it? Totally worth it. Nice sunrise. Yeah. So what are we doing now? Uh, shower and breakfast. And coffee. Much coffee. Oh, we're going to, to Lady Barra first. Lady Barra it is. Oh. Just trying to find a way to just go down and walk to the other side, but there is no way in hell we're gonna make it. Steve is still out there, still trying. Oh! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's been a very productive morning. Uh, it's still morning. We still didn't have breakfast. All we had was that coffee and a cigar, which took us four hours to smoke. It's five hours if you count what Steve was doing with it. About time to find a pub. Good 
good idea. Then it's breakfast. Having my first ever Partagas D Especial. Got that from Mike Choi. Thank you very much, Mike. Awesome flavors. So strong. It's 2010, but I'm not sure if you can see. Look at how much oils actually came out of those cigars. Sweet. Mm. How is your smoke? Gorgeous. What am I smoking? Bolivar Emirati. So that's the mm. latest release for the UAE. Mm. That's great. It's about as Bolivar as it gets, really. He just started smoking that because he was playing with a cigar for about 45 minutes. I don't want to say he was fornicating with it, but that was pretty close. Um, there were photos taken with four different lenses, three different lenses, two different lenses, whatever. <laughs> then he had extension tubes. Oh. When you're not on the, any of the tops over here, it's uh, pretty pleasant weather. Eight degrees, no heaters, nothing. Um, but it's fine. It's all right. Only well, got five layers on, so. It's all right when you're having a rum. Cheers. It's getting really cloudy out there. Uh, so I think it's just going to turn really moody. Tomash thinks it's just going to turn grey and black. We shall see. for four. I have to do some exercise. I'm dying. It's all day, up and down, up and down. The thing you don't expect about the Peak District is that it's hilly. We've been up there, then we went down there, and now we've been down there, here. And Steve is still trying to finish his cigar from about two hours ago. He, said, he says he's a slow smoker, he's not. It's a two hour smoke. We've been smoking that for over three hours now. He's not a slow smoker, he just doesn't smoke his cigar, he just walks with this unlit thing. Pretends that he can beat any record in the world. 